Oh, buddy, welcome back. All right, let's go ahead and get back in here. Okay. So last time we just beat this guy down, and I don't think he has another army. No. Okay, so we just have to get down there, kill Balthazar, and we'll probably be able to kill this guy, hopefully. Now, are we going to need two armies if they send a counterattack army? That could be bad. This army is, like, almost too strong. We just don't need it that strong for these. But if we have to siege somebody that is, like, a 20-stack city in a 20-stack town, or, like, you know, a town with a huge garrison, we're going to need something big. So we'll see how it goes. Um, extra 5% leadership. I mean, that could be okay. Just got these ordinances. Probably just want the flying stuff bonus. Yeah. Oh, hellish blows. Stalk is kind of whatever, not great. Um, care about charge? Probably not. I guess we just um, 12 defense, 12 offense. That decent charge bonus. Now he gets a lot, that's a lot of melee attack and weapon damage. So I think we just go for the extra damage here. And this dude, I think it's just Frenzy. We may have done that at the end of last turn. I didn't save because we didn't do the turn. Okay, so this guy has a little bit more movement. So I guess we can just dash over here as far as we can go. We need replenishment. A little bit. Oh, he gained several levels. So nice. Okay, so fireball and then one part, one point in burning head and then kindle gem or kindle flame, I think. start. It's weird they put it here. Usually this ability is over here. Your caster bonus ability. Okay. And then we can put some stuff on him, I think. channeling staff, I guess. Or Everlasting Glacier, what is that? 20% <clears throat> physical resist, okay. Mirror shield. Fighting weapon, okay. Do that, and then... <clears throat> where's my property line right here? Okay, I guess we can dash as close as we can to this road. Sir, thank you for your service. 
Enjoy a little retirement. Okay. Those homies should be good. I think we're about to get 300 raw materials knocked offline, too, when they sack that up top, probably. So, we've got enough for Industrial Revolution, but we're going to need more other things. Okay. All of this is fine. I think everything else we've already done, but I'll just double check. Okay, we do not need recruitment there anymore. Probably just want to go public order. Um... Are we hiring any more things right now? If we're not hiring, we could go ahead and upgrade this. But that's a couple of turns out. I think we just go public order right now. And then we can start this and start uh, probably this. <coughs> Sorry, still battling some cold or allergies, so I might whatever you chortle or whatever you call it for a second here. I mean, I could update this. This is too many materials. Oh. Oh. Recorder is not. Why is it so bad right there? Okay, I'll send a buyer corruption. It's only five? Most places it's like eight or ten is what you get this bonus but okay labor is pretty high all right difficulty in collective income all right the minus eight public order for difficulty really matters with these guys on legendary for most other factions you <coughs> it does affect your growth because typically you get to negative 75 and then it stabilizes because you get plus so much when you're low. Which I think is a good change. So you don't have to worry about constantly having to mess with rebellions. But it does slow your growth. For these guys, though, it matters a lot. Okay, we don't have a thing completed here for these guys. Yeah, and we're at 64. So we do not want to go lower than that. Okay, so we'll just do that. There we go. You really want to keep it under 50. Like I said before, I think the 25 to 50 is pretty doable. If you could go under 25, that's great. The 0 to negative 25 is really the sweet spot. But Okay. Alright, I think that's good. We can't send a convoy because that clown intercepted me. Unless it's a very strong convoy. Because they're just camping it. Looks like a weaker army there. But... Okay, that's diplomacy. The Redhorn tribe. Really wants to be our friend. Eshin still doesn't like us. Alright. everybody he has the heroes right like this guy's ready to go we already dashed we don't have those dwarves that we wanted it's not a huge deal this should be more than strong enough to stomp whatever they have going on alright oh Anything. So if we're not hiring anymore here, which we're not, we have to go over and deal with him right now. We, how much, how fast do we want to go to these guys? They're probably a three turner. They might be two, but it is basically a dragon. Usually those are expensive. Because if we're not going there. We could go ahead and grab this for the 5% upkeep reduction, which is going to be like 300 gold. 
Uh, I mean, I do want to. I do want the in furnaces and stuff, but the gold is becoming kind of a thing too, <clears throat> and we don't need the armaments right now. We do want the gold thing at a certain point. I kind of do want to upgrade factories. Am I going? Stockpiling is very good. And we take over the timber there. That's probably at least five turns off, though. Money is kind of becoming a thing. I think we'll go ahead and grab that. Let's get some advantages on the money front. Casualty replenishment ammo and all that stuff is like is pretty good. But I think we'll take one turn and grab that, and then we can go hotter furnaces next turn. This money is kind of becoming a thing. Okay, because we're going to have to replace this too, which is going to be thousands of gold. Okay, and then the labor situation, I think we're good everywhere for the most part. Yeah. Okay, how much is it going to is it going to charge us the full 100? Move that over somewhere. It charges 48. Okay. I might as well. Okay. Alright. So it was 438. We'll see how much it affects our upkeep. Hope it, it should be like 300 or so. Maybe more. <clears throat> yeah. Wait, is this a town? No, it's an open field battle. Yeah, these trolls are going to be too difficult, and these things are too difficult to deal with. Alright. Yeah, outposts are extremely weak. Factory, if it was a town and I could get towers and stuff, maybe. How injured are we? Okay, we got the replenishment. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Um, those guys are a little dinged up still, but... Sneaky one. So ideally, you don't want those to like super front line. You'd like to flank with them. Let's see about that. Okay, so we'll count those as our three group. Um, we can count these as three also. Just big monsters. You just want to kind of put in the middle of the infantry. Guys, the anti large. We've got the blunderbusses. With the terrain special here. It'd be difficult to. I didn't see if they had dogs or not. Why can't I move over here? Oh, it's a rock. Okay, I thought it was a shadow. Alright, put this guy in the middle too. Do have dogs. 
dogs, that's annoying. Let me get those dogs to come over here early, maybe. We fire on them. Okay, it's probably not worth They're not. They're not gonna do it. I think we still have the replenishment bonus. I'm not 100% about that, but... This guy's... Th this version... I mean, it's still a powerful unit, but this one is so much weaker than the Nurgle version. It does, like, splash damage. Okay, are those Chosen? Those Chaos Warriors, okay. Gotta watch out for the anti-large ones. is going to cause problems. Giant is bad. Giant's bad. Okay, fire on the giant. No, those are large. No, back it up. Back it up. They have a lot of, like, anti-large with the halberds that are annoying. These things are actually doing... Oh, they're not killing that much. They're doing alright, I guess. Having this dude sitting in halberds is not ideal, but we just have a lot of large units here. Is there something unbreakable that have? Okay, I think we killed the giant. I mean, everything's shattered. What's, what's left? Oh, spawn. I didn't even see those spawn. Oh, I forgot we had those little things. Alright. Run those down and kill those. I don't know if these things will go hostile with me and just constantly shack me down across the map or chase my caravan. I don't think they do that in these scenarios, but I guess warriors don't matter. I mean, they're okay, but it's really these halberds that I'm like, most interested in killing. Alright, big boy, get over here, kill us. 
these things, they're not going to catch those trolls. We're going to kill these. <coughs> this way. All right. Now we have... Yeah, if we kill the guy, we might get be more likely to get an item too. I'm not, again, I'm not entirely sure about that mechanic. <clears throat> Alright, let's get those gits out of there. They're not doing anything. Yeah, get the little basic dudes out of there. Quit taking up space and just let the let the big boys deal with it. How many did this guy kill? 39. I mean, he's got a lot of armor and he's got a lot of like buffs and things. He's he's a strong unit. Kind of reminds me of uh, World of Warcraft Ragnaros or Ragnaros, whatever. Man, I just wish the community was a little bit better in those games these days. <clears throat> there's a lot. There's like classic, and then I might still do some Final Fantasy XIV. I think the community was a lot more chill. Um, well, it's like everybody is just so exclusive and turbo elite, from what I remember, and it's just so hard to get a group to raid. I like doing the kind of just econ stuff and things, and there's like more little side quests to do in Final Fantasy XIV, but I used to really like raiding, just getting together with some interesting, you know, people sharing some stories, and, you know, just a couple of nights a week, just getting down for three hours and clearing some stuff, joking around. If, you know, you died a bunch, it's not a big deal. You just kind of hanging out with people. It was a social thing. <clears throat> but now it's like... Everybody just wants, you know, the fastest, smoothest clear possible, so they just will only invite people that, you know, are just like the super sweats. And I get it, like, you don't want stuff to take longer, be more frustrating, but at the same time, the level of elitism is just, like, people just aren't there to, like, have fun and enjoy it, you know, as much anymore. I know that's kind of like noob speak, too. I never rated, like, really mythic. I cleared a couple of bosses on mythic once, but I just couldn't find a guild that, that worked. But <clears throat> I did pretty well in the raids that I did. And I was okay if some people were struggling a little bit. It was a bit frustrating if some people were messing up some mechanics, but... Okay, so his wall faded now. So he does not have the extra armies. But anyway, so I like the content. It's just... Um... Okay, so that did end up giving us like 300 more gold. So not a massive deal, but... We might as well go ahead and pick it up. We want it at some point. Okay, so we're actually losing raw materials. We're chewing through our stack right now. Okay. So we replace this guy... With our main homie here. Okay, so that is not going to help me versus green skins, but that's okay. It's not a huge deal. Okay, now he's got flying. Uh, does he have any armor? Let's give him mirror shield. And then... He's a talisman. Give him channeling staff. Okay, let's put the fire breath on him. I need an enchanted item because he's flying, so it'll be a bit easier to optimize that. Uh, Tormentor sword I could put on him too. That came in a little bit of handy last time, but on the caravan. We can put that on him. And then 
What do we need? Um, enchanted item. Ring of Thorns, I guess we could put on him. Okay. The rest of this is fine. Dwarf Warriors. Okay. All right, I think that's good. All right, and then this guy, Hidden Stores. Yes. Now we can replenish anywhere, which is great. <clears throat> Why does he run less far? This thing slow me down or something? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Okay. Okay, so do I want one capacity every so many turns, or do I want construction? That will also spread corruption everywhere, which is handy. I'm going to be taking over a bunch of new spots. I think maybe I go with that. Now, one of them might take this. That's pretty nice. I mean, Kadai, if I have to get to Kadai, that's not the end of the world. It's okay. But... Does it include the... Uh, Full sent okay, Kadai might include the tier five guy too. If I get an extra one of those, that's kind of annoying because I'm not <coughs> gonna be there for a while. This construction cost is good. Um, I do need to upgrade my factories, but they just don't feel secure right now. And I just don't have enough raw materials to leverage that right now. So I guess we'll just go with this. Now we get the corruption. Help out a little bit. Because, yeah, we're going to be so short on materials. We just can't upgrade the factories until we get some more. Why are we moving? Are we, like, cursed or something? Why are we moving so slowly? Is that... Maybe this guy has an item or something that does that. I don't remember an item that does that, but okay. Oh, he left. That's not good. Damn it. I was really hoping to pin him in there. How strong is he? Not very. Okay, Dread or Clan Eshin might be fighting him right now. Yes, there's a big fight there at some point. Alright, let's see if Clan Ashen will let us invite him in there. down for a non-aggression. Now, I could break my non-aggression with somebody else. And see, now, where is... He's hanging out very close to me. Um... Could do a non-aggro with him. We've seen how that's gone before. Hey, 
pay us. And do a non-aggro. Let's see what we can do here. Alright, see if we can do that, and then I don't know if that's going to move the scales or not here. Um, pretty far away from alliances. I don't remember. I think that's maybe a little bit more gold than we had before. Yeah, these guys don't like us. I mean, we could just send an army over there to kill them, too. Bring ruin. They've got an army just chilling over here. It probably wouldn't take that much to kill them. I could make one of these. That's kind of pointless. Raw materials consumed is 5% less. That's a joke. It should be at least 10% for that. Come on. Um, okay, so we could go ahead and start this. Yeah, let's do that, and then I guess we'll wait on that for a little bit. Now, if we made a third army here, we'd have to be able to walk through. We'd have to get military alliance with him to be able to walk through. I think if we could give him a property. Okay. If we take Zhang Shi here, we could give him this. Maybe get military alliance and then just never ask him into a war with us. Okay. Well. Okay, well there's Gelt. do tower because we need two slots at tier one. Okay, his army looks pretty weak. Really hope he doesn't just like dash over here. It's going to be so obnoxious if he does. Like over here. Absolutely not. Yeah, that's a super weak army for this point in the game. Who's praise? Okay, so let's do another burning head. And then these are... Okay, you get... Some recruitment ranks for goblins, sure. I uh, don't think I want to do... This. I've got two places I can do that in, but... <clears throat> we just don't have I want to be able to get the tech for factories we're just not going to be able to afford that yet okay and then so we dash that guy okay, we need to do public order here And we could just wait on that tech too, but I really want that. <clears throat> I mean, we're going to 
gonna start losing. So we're at negative seventy right now. It's gonna shut down all production on our armaments, though. I think. Or a lot of production on our armaments if we do that. Uh, okay, maybe we just finish this and then we can just grab something else in the meantime. Tallest towers or um, some of these things, alchemical, whatever stuff, or temple training. Until we take this back. <coughs> All right, let's go ahead and do that, because I, I want the money. <laughs> 250 gold a turn, like, missing out on that's bad. Okay. Pastures. Uh, is there a tech for that? gem and mines I would imagine that pastures you would want to have a, uh, a field or whatever it's called raw materials obsidian and marble okay I think everything else is good fix this. Okay. Alright, and then convoys. Now this guy's a little on the uh, weak side. If we get picked off, it's going to be bad, but Guess we can just try to send a small one. Okay, everyone else has moved. Okay, then praying he doesn't run north here and avoid us. I don't know where else he could go, honestly, that would make sense. He could take out Baleful Hills, but if he sits in there, I'm just going to kill him. Where is this? Is this my dudes that are returning home? Dude, these guys are unrelenting. These are the ones that I hit before. Uh, and we didn't get to replenish. We got three trolls. I mean, where are we gonna fight it? I guess. Do not invest in caravans. <laughs> um. As the Chaos Dwarves, at least, because they just are constantly intercepted. Oh, there's a reinforcement, too. I didn't even notice that. So this guy here, the war host, that is his thing, is you get an extra caravan. So that does kind of suck. But for a lot of the early campaign, at least, he is... Um, Uh, he does have one of the more secure locations and pretty easy opponents, so there's that. At least the way that it played out for me. We're gonna need this guy out there flanking. Oh, 
Can I get him around this choke, maybe? Pistol ears. Okay. Wish it was the um, cannonball ones. That'd be nice, but... Another boar here. Squig hoppers. Decimate him. Actually, let's fire these right in there. Where is this dude? Yeah, fire it right here. Fire on those things. You stay in here. You fight. Four boys charge. Dragon. Okay, we got them to run. Okay, we terrored them. Okay, we got them to run. Okay, this is back. 
Okay, I guess that's all right. We're rallying. Okay, that's a nice hit right there. Whoa, 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 what just happened? Get these out of there. These things, these things are dead, I think. Jeez. Oh crap, there's another okay, he's running too. Alright. Um Where are my war machines? I don't think we'll be able to run them down. We might be able to run down the goblin. Why do these bros from the conclave never step out? and like kill these idiots. They're just like standing right outside their town. I know they have a more powerful army. It's like straight camping the caravan lane. This blunderbuss is always swing above their weight, man. I think just one or two of them is so strong. I mean, I guess you could have a whole line of like 10 of them or something and just delete everybody that walks in. Maybe that's, I'm sure like Legend of Total War has done that before. Some kind of little checker pattern cheese with blunderbusses. And I love Legend. He is the cheese master, though. I think, does he even. He doesn't play. I guess I, want to, I wanted to call it retail. But he's not playing Warhammer 3. I mean, maybe he still does. He was doing, like, medieval, and. I think he mixes it up. I'm pretty sure he's the most popular person in the space. Even after leaving to go to Paradox for a while. Fight him, fight him, fight him. He's just a level two, so it probably doesn't matter that much, but <coughs> Yeah, Dreadquake Mourner's obviously really good. It's actually not even that bad of a fighter. Like it's <coughs> it's not great, but it's okay. Better than like a steam tank, probably in melee. Everybody 
thought he did a pretty good job that fight. Glugsog got away, though, and they're just injured. I don't think I deleted any of their stuff. No, I did. Okay, a bunch of them got rounded off. The free controls are, like, <clears throat> the big issue, especially the special trolls, like the stone trolls in particular. Mm, Potion of Toughness is actually pretty good. Okay, we'll just take the labor. I think that that's pretty close on the gold versus labor, but... We'll still take it. Hostile hero activity. Okay, Mulder versus those guys. Hellbound standard. Ugh. Of course he dashes over here like a freaking clown. so much. But, I mean, that's all they can do. They can't just run into you if you're stronger. Yeah, this army is just too... probably too good, unless you can have them pinned, but... pinned in their base, and they think they can siege you or something. All right, so we'll do the same drill. Hire somebody here. Again. Hashutanunku. <laughs> See? I don't think he can hit that in one turn. Never. He might be able to. God, if he sacks, that's going to be so annoying. Raja. Okay, so let's drop down to 12 again keep all the heroes. We'll keep the fire guy because he's here now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, something like that. Alright, so I mean, the artillery piece is pretty good. Maybe I keep the Damon. Get rid of one flame cannon. Hi. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen. So I gotta get rid of two more. Okay, see you in a little bit. I'd rather have another flying unit or a daemon. This can tank if we need it to for a little bit. Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve on twenty. Hopefully, not likely. That is a pretty wimpy looking front line for sure. Absolutely not. But uh, we could probably last for a long time with our dwarves. Three person front line. This guy can front line a little bit. He can front line. He can sort of front line. These guys can front line. If we 
have to, we could go ahead and get that armament upgrade here in a second, too, for them. Help them out a little bit. Okay. Alright, so we got these fools with their back door going on. What? Why can I not move on this guy? Does he have a debuff? Felt like the other guy was running way faster. Campaign range 5%. Movement range 5%. Should have more than that, right? I got 5% right here. What about this guy? Or the Castellan. Do you have to take him out and put him back in to get the bonus? No, 10%. Okay. No, why is... Wait. Okay, I guess it's a little bit better. Um... Oh, Dash would send us over here. Okay, that's better. I guess we could do Ambush... Maybe they don't see us and run. Okay, and then all of this stuff is fine. Ten percent armaments. Yeah, let's. I mean, that's cool, but we don't need that for like right away let's just go ahead and get this because that fight could get kind of close and we want we do want that anyways at some point okay hidden stores this is for the guy that just got jumped we've got <coughs> inspiring presence which we definitely needed I guess just better scales. 5% more. Uh, all that would been, we just have such a ragtag group of units. I guess we'll just do better scales. Uh, .gov. He's a Oh, because we've got an army parked there. I was like, why is there public order? Po what is this positive public order? <clears throat> okay, so working that stuff. Gunpowder roads, fine. That's fine, that's fine. Riverlands are working on that, and then the foothills. Can't do that one yet. Okay. And then convoys. We made it out. So I guess the clown army attacked our, fortunately attacked our big guys instead of our smaller ones. Wait, where did this even attack? No, it attacked this guy. Okay. I hope you can't reach Zen Zen Wu, Shin Wu, however you pronounce that. God, it's uh, <laughs> so freaking frustrating. This idiot's just gonna sack and run.
this one is strong enough, I think. And we have the replenishment on this guy, so... Yeah, I think we'll kill some rats and take the shortcut. I don't know how many turns. Okay, we can just auto it. I'm pretty sure it should be fine. We're gonna massacre that. Hopefully, these guys are a little lower than I'd like, but whatever. It's fine. I don't know, it's just not the style of fighting that I really like. Who is this? Seize his stash. Leniency. Uh, we, I do not want that guy injured right now. to hotter furnaces. Okay, we get our revenge on these clowns. Just because... It's just so frustrating because you want to be strong so you can actually take down a siege. Okay, Skaven did take this out. So you want to be strong so you can take down a siege if they hide in their town with 20 units with, you know, a 15 garrison. But then if you're too strong, they'll just run out of their town and start trying to run around and backdoor you. And it's really hard to get enough units and to get the movement speed. Like, this guy's just barely out of range to get there. We can't really repair this. I can't move on and kill these guys yet. I don't think over here. I'm gonna have to split this up into multiple armies, probably. Now, if I'm here during a siege, we can probably defend him. If he tries to come down here and siege this. Okay, so that's the most direct way. Now, he could run. Actually, he can't run past that town again. I don't think he can squeeze through that little crack. If I go right here, I'm not sure where he's going to go, but he might fight me if I go right there. I could try to ambush. Go, like, here. Go like there and ambush, maybe. Do I want to ambush, though? I kind of want him to fight me. It's 12 units, man. Come on. Just take it. And I guess we can just hang out here. I don't want to put him in that injured town. Cause some huge public order problems. Here, that kind of hurt our public order too, but... Alright. Time for some vengeance. Close victory? Really? I mean, the hobgoblins aren't as strong as with when I have the hobgoblin dude with me, so we do have to keep that in mind. And this guy's not the legendary lord, but we've got three bull centaurs, all these flyers. I think we take them, but we'll have to do it next episode. We're out of time. Um, but anyways, uh, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a little frustrating getting backdoored here, but we'll figure it out. 
Um, if we can just find a way to keep getting aggressive and just pin them in their towns, um, I think we can do it. And if we have to, we can just hire some of these lords and hand off our units for a little bit and see if we can bait them into fights they think will be a little more fair. But... Anyways, okay. Well, that's going to be it. Thanks. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Uh, consider turning off the ad blocker if you want to help support the channel. If you want to become a member, that also helps. $5 a month minimum, or uh, less than a quarter a day, about 20 cents a day. <coughs> uh, if you're interested in that, or if you want to sponsor a campaign yourself, just email me at thestrategyprofessor at gmail.com. Let me know what you have in mind. Uh, it's just $3 an episode, minimum 10 episodes. But do email me before you donate so that um, I can let you know whether or not I'll be able to do the campaign. But that's it. Thanks. Have a good day. See you next time.